Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your coach for the Minnesota Berserkers, W3S7. And today we are facing my Soul Link partner, Slightly Salty, coach of the Vegas Corviknights. And yeah, dudes, I'm I'm a nervous Nelly right now. Um, yeah, I'm connecting. This is the code he gave me. Um, you can see here, this is my team. Um, this is the team I'm predicting him to bring down below. And yeah, um, let's get to it. Um, okay. I think he's deciding the rules here. Um, yeah. Um, uh, this is a very weird team. I did a team builder, um, but my mic was muted again, once again. And I'm not, I'm not doing another one. I don't have time. I've had a lot going on as of late. If you guys haven't checked out Twitter, make sure to follow me on Twitter uh, at W3S717. Um, we have all our updates posted there as well as the discord all that stuff uh, be sure to check it out um yeah anyway let's get to let's get into this battle um uh i'm really hoping he doesn't bring exactly what i'm predicting i really hope he mostly goes physically offensive because i'm very physically defensive today this week uh all right, we are here. Let's go, baby. Participating team. Uh, team two. Let me make sure. No duplicate items. Yep. Yeah, I, I, or no, no, no more than two of each item. But we only have one of each item. So that's even better. Even better. I don't much care for that rule, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, and let's see what team he brought. Come on, baby. Let's see. Okay, uh, Lunala, Paparaja, Mudsdale. We got a Mudsdale. No. Oh, this is actually really good. We got Obstagoon instead of uh, Venusaur. No Venusaur. Um, so. Then we got no Mimikyu. Oh, that's huge. I love that. There's no Mimikyu. Instead, we got Gardevoir. Wait, we don't have Gardevoir. <laughs> uh, instead, we got Mudsdale. Let's go Mudsdale on that one. And yeah, everything else is right. Everything else is right. Uh, so, our lead. Who is he going to lead? He may predict the Selby or the Mew lead. Um, so, Ossian is a very good lead here. Um, he could predict the uh, Nantes lead and go into Cinderace. Cinderace is probably his best lead here. I would say Cinderace is his best lead. I'm going to lead. Hmm. I could lead Limbo. Or I could lead Wimpy. I'm going to lead Wimpy. I'm going to lead Wimpy. Yeah, I don't know. What can, uh, can my Nantos do anything to Cinderace? level 50 um not really blizzard's doing 49 percent and he is uh definitely faster horis can we see horis here um the mud style so wimpy was not a good play wow wow really like anything i could i went with would have been a good play here I was not expecting this Mudsdale um this could have been why he led it though he's not really doing much to me um but I'm doing nothing to him <laughs> I'm doing absolutely nothing to him so like there's no point in staying in here um Arcanon uh, that's doing a lot to you um Celebi it's doing nothing to I'm gonna go Celebi here. I'm just gonna go Celebi. No, I don't really know what else to do. Uh, let's see what he does. He's gonna set up Stealth Rocks. That's fine. Um, now I can freely set up Stealth Rocks here because if he core changes, it doesn't really matter. I really want Stealth Rocks up, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set Stealth Rocks. Uh, core change is not gonna do anything to me now. Because we both have stealth rocks. 
I'll exchange rocks with you. He's gonna hit me with a toxic. That's not really a problem. Because Selby has natural here. So I'm actually okay with that. Actually okay with that. And I'm gonna hit you with the toxic. As well. I'm just gonna trade with you. Just gonna trade with you in case you want to switch out after I get you with this Giga Drain. If you let me hit you with a Giga Drain, that is. I believe you're gonna let me. And I'm gonna get back up to full. He's, he's, he may stay in one more time. I'm hoping he does. This Giga Drain's gonna hurt. Yeah, he stays in. That's a massive amount of damage. This should put us back up to about four. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I can see him switching now. I could definitely see him switching now. Uh, maybe into the Cinderace. I could stack my healing wedge now. I don't really want to. Uh, I could use a toxic on whatever comes in. It just giga drain. Um, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do the toxic. I think he's switching. I think he's switching. And throwing a toxic on whatever comes in. And with him just taking this long to decide, I think he's definitely switching. Yes. So if he doesn't go into Copper Roger, this is a good play. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. That's what we wanted. Oh, that's nice. I love seeing that come to come to light. Such a good play. Such a good play. So I think he probably has something from Arcanon. Um, based on how he came in here. Um, I don't know what he could have, though. Cinderace. At level 50. Uh, you're actually, I don't, I, just, I don't think he's doing nothing. I really don't. Um, I really don't see him do anything. So I'm just going to go into the Arcanine here. I want Celebi to be able to Healing Wish. It's, it's low on HP. It's done its job. Um, I want it to be able to Healing Wish at some point. Arcanine's going to take a big amount of damage. Uh, does his Cinderace have heavy, heavy duty boots? I didn't, I didn't check. Gonna use her out. I believe he's got heavy duty boots. I don't know. I don't think he does. I think he. I think he just U-turned and his 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 center is about dead after after two swaps. I'm actually really surprised he did that. I guess he was just trying to kill Bellamy, but like there's better things he could have done there. I feel like. So. The Copper Raja comes in here. And if we go to Copper Raja and we set this thing to level 50. Um and let's burn it. We can survive too. I'm hitting it with a burn. Now it is dynamaxing. But we are faster and we can heal. We can heal right up. We can heal right up. I'm in with a willow. I think this is the play. Because we can heal right up. Yeah, baby. We hit the willow. Thank God. It's huge. Uh, he's setting up cell, steel stealth rocks. That is. Oh, that's going to hurt. No, tells. That's a really good play there, Salty. That's a really good play. Really good play. This thing is crippled though. I'm gonna get my Arcanon back up to full. Uh, and I'm doing 51% with um, Flare Blitz, so. That's actually doing more damage than uh, I'm showing. 
I'm actually really uh, confused by that damage. We can't out heal it though. We can't out heal it. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. I'm just gonna stall as it turns out. That's the plan. Stall as G Max out. So now he's not doing, he's doing a lot less now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and heal again. He may be sheer force. That might be why he's doing so much. It actually does not affect earthquake. Really? Hmm. He's switching out. Boris is here. Now, can I kill this thing? Mudsdale, are you stealth rock? At 50. Um, we're doing 26 to 30%. Do it. And I think that kills. I think that for sure kills. Yeah, I'm going for flare blitz. So I'm going to kill this thing. Get this thing out of here. I'm going to get this thing out of here. I'm doing a lot of statusy stuff this time, dudes. <laughs> yeah, where East is down, dudes. Let's go. Not a lot of recall either. Gene Simmons and eyes. Um Obstagoon. Uh, at level 50. Uh, facade is hurting. I think I don't do anything this turn because I think he's going to go for uh, obstruct. Yeah, so I'm going for the willow west this turn because of the obstruct and I don't want to lose my, I don't want to lower my defense. I don't want to lower my defense. I know he's uh guts or whatever but that's fine um now i don't have that but i'm still surviving and i'm going for close combat i didn't want to i didn't want to hit him i didn't want to waste a uh one sun either we should survive this and then we should kill with uh with this close combat so there goes obstagoon uh, we're lowering our defense here, which is unfortunate. And we're probably dying on re-entry with Arcanon here. So we may just go for damage on whatever comes in. I may just go for damage on whatever comes in. I think Arcanon's done his job. Um, yeah, Arcanon's done his job for sure. For sure, for sure. So we could uh, bring it in with a uh, healing wish, I guess. Could do that. Um, try not to spend too much time because uh, with all the status -y stuff, it's going to be hard to recreate this match. <laughs> Twilight, that's a Lunala. Um, we don't actually have anything for the Lunala. So I really hope he doesn't try to set up here. Um, Flurbus is doing 20% though. Uh, with stealth, wait, we didn't put stealth rock up, did we? No. I actually doing like 40%, so I'm just going to click the Flurbus button. We're, we're, we're letting, uh, we're letting Arcanine go down here. Yeah, so he's cosmic powering, which is unfortunate. Um, that's nothing. This thing is defensive as crap, man. Um, this thing has Moonlight too. Uh, we cannot let this thing set up right here. 
We can't not let this thing set up right here. Uh. Okay, uh, I got to toxic this, I, I guess is what I got to do. So I'm just going to hit it with a flare blitz. I need to do damage. He's going to, he's going to moonlight though. He's definitely going to moonlight. Am I, is my Celebi faster than Lunala? Because this is a defensive Lunala. I think I will be faster. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm faster. I think he's going to moonlight at this point. Or he's going to cause me power one. He's definitely not go. Wait. I have red card on me. We may go into me. Um, we're going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why this is why this is why I do things. This is why I do these things. Yeah, he's moving Latin. This is expected. Anyone with a player plays here. Okay, so Arcanine's gonna die next turn. One more Flare Blitz. Uh, he's probably gonna Cosmic Power, I would say. No, he's gonna he's gonna start attacking. This is definitely what I would I would have definitely went for a Cosmic Power there. Uh, because Arcanine is gonna kill itself here. That's fine. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, I'm going straight into Mew. Right? Yeah, straight into Mew. Um. Yeah, that hurt. And I'm going to click the Endure button. I'm going to use Endure. And got Beam. Red Guard should swap it out. Red Guard, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's so dope. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I love that so much, dude. I love that so much. That's so fun. That's so fun. And now explosion. <laughs> oh, he has shell. He's faster though. Probably specs. Oh man, that's fun. <laughs> oh man. So Gardevoir, um, so 250. Uh, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. I am killing though. I think I'll just go into Wimpy and do it. Click the button. Do I Dynamax or not? Nah? I don't think I Dynamax. I think I just click the button. No, I'm not surviving after the stones though. Unless a Dynamax. Yeah, I got a Dynamax. Oh, he's switching into Cockroger. Fucking hell. Now there's we I don't know if we have anything for Gardevoir. <laughs> No, yeah, but now we just click the uh, Dream Punch button, Max Knuckle, and we uh, we gear up to sweep, I guess. We gear up to sweep. Everything's low. We should be able to do it. Max Knuckle, doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Click the button. Hit me. Someone hit me. Please hit me offensively, offensively. I need you to hit me with something. Go into send rays. Hit me. Hit me. I need you to hit me. Please hit me. Please. 
Please hit me. Please hit me. I should I should go for my explode quake though. Um, because I think I can survive if I'm plus one in special defense. Yeah, I could survive if I get a max quake off. Yo, I actually when all that comes in. And we have something for you. Yeah, we got we got max darkness. Which is gonna kill you. Let's kill this Lunala. Let's kill this Lunala. Plus one, so it's definitely killing. Red card Endure Mew is so cool. I wish the explosion would have went off on the Gardevoir though. Three minutes left. Uh, it's not good. Not good. Not good. Yo. Cinderace came in. Cinderace. Um, if I can get, if I can let this thing hit me. Uh, actually, actually killing me. It seems. If it kills me, it kills me, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. I just gotta click the button. It, it may not kill. It's gonna be close. Nah, it's killing. Dang, that's unfortunate. If I would've got the speed boost, this could, this could have swept. Could have swept for sure. Um, Eater Nautis time? Yeah, Eater Nautis time. Um, what does he have left? Uh, I need to check what he has left. Just the Gardevoir, right? Yeah. So I'm a quick cosmic power. I'm gonna eat Um. Yeah, cosmic power. I uh, get a plus one and a plus one. And a plus two, and a plus two, and Guardy or at fifty. Yeah, it's not. Um, maybe I should do plus one, plus one and recover. Yeah, I think I should recover. Plus, I got one thousand power, and I got recovered. So. I'm gonna have to toxic the uh, guard of war to kill it, but I can saw it out with Ethan Honest. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it may actually kill me. Uh, I'm gonna click toxic. I'm trying to click something quick. Hopefully you don't crit. He did not crit. Same with the toxic. And that puts you on a timer. You are faster. I knew you would be. No. Uh, so yeah, Pokemon, um, yeah, let's, uh, take a picture. Bam. And let's see what he wants to do. Um, I am going to, um, let's see, there's nothing really I can do. I just click recover, I guess. what he wants to do 
Hello. <laughs> Your shit. Hello. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Not much, you. Not much. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't see a point in rebuilding the match. Uh, you win no matter what. I have. I'm choice guard. Uh, so I have to go psychic on everything. Uh, it's a three hit on your nine tails. Uh, okay. and I'm gonna guess you're going into nine tails after your turn it is. Uh, yeah, I was actually gonna swap out into uh, nine tails. Uh, okay, I, I'm just good at cutting it here and giving the kill to your nine tails then. Okay, if that's what you wanna do. I want to do that, that because I I didn't think you were gonna swap. I thought you were gonna stay in, and I guarantee it's a guarantee. Oko, I guarantee kill the Eternity, uh, and you would have probably killed me with your nine tails in two hit, because you probably would have outspeed. That's bad. Yeah, I outspeed. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna go into nine tails and um, that nine was choice specs too. So your choice specs. Yeah, it's gonna do uh, seventy-five percent with a blizzard, and you was probably already it probably killed you with one blizzard. Um, it's doing sixty-three to seventy-five. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, you so. would have. It's uh, it's fifty-six percent. Uh, um, yeah, so you would have killed me with one blizzard. So I say we just give final kill to uh, nine tails. Uh, that sounds good. Sounds good, and it's in both of our recordings because I think you're. Rec I'm recording your voice. You're probably yeah. recording mine. It's gonna yeah. be in our video. We both agreed upon it, uh, so I see it perfectly fine. We rather than redoing, spending ten <laughs> minutes redoing it, we yeah. just spent thirty seconds discussing it because yeah. we know how it's gonna play out. I don't see myself winning that. And Blizzard's 100% accurate in snow, so. Yeah, exactly. So there's no chance of a miss or nothing like that. Yeah. All right. So, All right. you want to do a little interview real quick? Sure. Why not? We're already here. Yeah. Uh, what was you expecting me to bring, my dude? Uh, uh, pretty much your team. I didn't really finalize the final six, uh, but I had a final eight. The only other two I thought you could have brought were, were that Chandelure and... Um, Chandelure and... What else was there that I thought you would have brought? Uh, who's your other OU? Um, Nantel's Mew and Chandelure. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember who who the other one Pre was. Uh, it was oh Primarina. I thought you were. I thought Primarina was a guarantee break. Um, but yeah, this, this was pretty much pretty much the six I thought I didn't think Celebi was gonna come and yeah who did you think my six was gonna be uh I thought your six was gonna well uh the the two that caught me off guard um I had um everybody on my on the layout except for obscure and Mudsdale I thought obscure may came but I wasn't expecting Mudsdale who who were the two you were expecting Venusaur and um what was it um Mimikyu? Mimikyu, yeah. So I th thought you were gonna... Uh, Mimikyu runs through your team, so I thought you were gonna over-prep the shit out of Mim Mimikyu. Your only two answers for Mimikyu were Eternatus and Garboder, so I thought you were gonna over-prep the shit out of Mimikyu, so last second I swapped my Mimikyu out for Obstagoon. What do you think about the red card Mew, dude? <laughs> when I saw Door, I'm like, what does he have up his sleeve? I'm like, there's no special dark type move like uh, that, d like flail. Yeah. Or anything. I was thinking you had like a dark type flail. And I'm like, <laughs> there's, that's not it. I'm like, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. I'm like, oh, oh. I'm like what is he doing? And then I saw a red card. Um, oh, man. It was good. Uh, I didn't play my strat completely. My main strat was Gardevoir using uh healing wish yeah that's the reason guard of force choice scarfed i was really hoping to outspeed and uh healing wish into something but at the end there i was like there's no point swapping because i was like my win con is guard of war but the second i saw the toxic i'm like this is game over yeah i had to get that thing toxic 
uh but uh yeah it was interesting i real I, if i came choice specs instead of choice scarf this could have been a really different game it's been rough i i count it to see to make sure i uh survived it, i was seeing if i should double cosmic power or just do one and recover and one and recover was the best chance of getting a toxic off and i wanted to get that toxic off just to ensure victory i didn't think it turned into scarf recovery yeah he, i didn't think I've i didn't been running i didn't cosmic think... power recover each and all every know week he... man <laughs> uh, uh, i have not noticed recover on your moveset it's so good man so good um that was a physically defensive either i was going very physically defensive this week yeah and while i was prepping my team i thought i only had one special attacker then i realized i had two you actually uh, have three with lunala card four and venusaur no so i'm on my team this week oh yeah i got you um i didn't bring venusaur because i didn't think it was going to do anything yeah i, I agree. mean venusaur wasn't a good nine thing. tails would have nine, nine tails yeah. would have outsped it that's why and, I was running specs. I knew you were bringing Mew, Eternatus, and Garboder. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Poison resists Poison, so I think it, Poison's still super effective, isn't it? Um, and you had the Arcanine yeah, and Chandelure, no, and I was like, no. you had the Arcanine and the Chandelure. I'm like, there's no chance of bringing them. Out of the eight mons that I thought you were bringing, pretty much every single one of them destroys Venusaur. Yeah. Um, yeah, Venusaur everything I have be... destroys Venusaur on my team right now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hypothetically, if I ran Chlorophyll Venusaur, there would have been a lot of issues, probably. Yeah, I, I'm not, and that's why I had nine tails just to stop the sunny day. <laughs> yeah. And um, when I seen Stealth Rock, I was like, all right, we can throw ours up. <laughs> I wanted to just I, get I rid of that shadow I'm like, tag. I'm like, why is Celebi coming in? I'm like, the second, the second, like, Stealth Rocks, I'm like, yeah, he did that. He did this because I don't have a defogger. <laughs> and you can't court change. There's no point in court changing stealth rocks around. <laughs> and once they were on my side, I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I've been so worried of somebody doing that to me, and you were the first person to do it. Oh, I, I wanted that. Um, uh, what is it? Shadow Guard? What it, whatever it is. Lunala's, I wanted to break that. <laughs> And then Shadow I had Chill. Thief on uh, Garboder. I almost forgot to bring it. I had planned on bringing it because it one shot the Lunala after Shadow Shield was gone. Um, and I almost forgot it. And I was going through my team and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so um, that is one thing I did mess up. Um, I, I forgot to bring, when did I bring Lunala in? I brought Lunala in against Garboder. Yeah. But I don't think Garboder outsped, did he? Yeah, he outsped. He's max of speed. He outsped? Okay. Uh, but one thing I did mess up, the reason I went into Garboder there was the only reason I thought I outsped, and also I thought I had Psychic. I forgot to bring Psychic. I forgot to change Moonblast into Psychic from last week. So that's kind of like that's kind of the reason when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, there's no point hard swapping this yeah. thing. If... um. Cinderace wouldn't have uh, killed, I would have swept you. I was weak armor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was a roll too. I was like, it's gonna be a roll. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I didn't think I was doing that much damage. Cinderace is stupid, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. was going for um explosion against the Guard of War, so <laughs> oh, okay. you. I had one HP so uh, explosion time. <laughs> Okay. Well, it was a good battle. I mean, I, I found I did a lot of stupid shit in this battle, though. I was very sad as heavy this, this week. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Arcanine was just... I love running a physically defensive Arcanine with uh, will o -Wisp. Oh, So cool. And then you got well, Rocky Helmet. So, 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 I mean, um, using will o -Wisp on my... Um, Copper. on obstagoon was yeah. literally was yeah, literally I, a mistake I, I knew that though like i just didn't want to get my defense lowered on the obstruct so i went for the will-o-wisp because you was gonna get your flame orb anyway 
Oh, yeah. I was going for Bashuk. Yeah. Um, I hate that I didn't double Bashuk. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, now. I, I should have taken the <laughs> chance and double Bashuk it. Because I knew you couldn't kill me. Uh, so that's, that's the reason I did that. I actually uh, came up with a plan to handle that Arcanine a lot better after uh, after I realized. Um, I don't know if it would have done more damage, but um, I realized a great play that could have been done is um, so you double obstruct because obstruct will most likely fail on the second turn, right? Yeah. Uh, and then stomping tantrum. What is the stomping, ta stomping tantrum? Its effect doubles if the previous move fails. It's a oh, seventy-five really? base. It's a seventy-five base power, so it'd become one hundred and fifty. Um, I didn't realize it uh, had that effect. It's my like, rotor runs yeah. it. It does. I just realized that afterwards. I don't know if it would have benefited me in this fight against Arcanine, but um, yeah, I realized afterwards that that is a great strat that I need to use. Yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah, because if you would have just failed, then I would have just killed you with close combat. But yeah, sure. I last minute had the thought, you know what, let's run red card. I haven't done that, and it might save us. Uh, and it did. And, and yeah, it did. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, how can I take better advantage of this so I can get an explosion off too? Let's run Endure. <laughs> I was so pissed when i saw that because i i'm pretty sure i would have swept your team oh yeah that. you won if it won for that if i if i had psychic i would have swept your team but since i had moon blast maybe not but but um with the two with the two cosmic powers up i think i would have been doing too much damage to your team cosmic power doesn't do extra damage though it no, just but increases it, it, the, it, yeah it just increases it, it increases my defense, so the only way like Lunala would have gotten taken down was with uh, a crit. Yeah, and like my other, I was like, "What am I gonna do?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, Mew, uh, th this is perfect. <laughs> this is the moment I've waited for." So, um, I don't think Max Darkness would have killed that uh, plus two. Do what? I don't think Max Darkness would have killed that plus two. No, no, for sure not. Um, it would have killed you without my attack boost, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, just didn't. Uh, I I really didn't know Garbod Garbodor uh, uh, outsped max speed uh, Lunala. You were max speed. Actually, I wasn't max no, I wasn't. I don't think I was. I think you were defensive, wasn't you? Yeah, I was defensive. Oh, so. Yeah, if you was max speed, you did, you did. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, I just didn't. I I didn't think that there was any way that Garbodor outsped Lunala when I sent Lunala in, and then I sent Lunala in, and I was like, I don't even have Psychic. I'm like, oh my god, I messed <laughs> up. And then it didn't matter because you outsped me. Uh, but right. Yeah, I, I like Max Speed Garbodor. It's been putting in work, especially with yeah. that uh, uh, weak Max armor. Knuckle? I have max knuckle and then I get hit by a physically a physical move and then I double my speed and then I'm just like <laughs> I like uh, Love I it. don't know I should have swapped um, I should have just hard swapped Carparaja out because I knew you were going to go for max knuckle the second time I literally said uh, yeah. the first time I thought you were going to go for max knuckle the first time and I saw max ooze and I was like man I should have just gone or whatever Garboder's special one is. Yeah. And I was like, man, I should. Uh, I was like, oh, now he's gonna go for Max Knuckle, and then I clicked the move for some reason. And I'm like, I should have swapped. Yeah, what am I doing? You, if you would have swapped and predicted that and went right back into the Lunala, that would make crazy. And I pr and I would have probably sw hard swapped Lunala out too. Yeah. For, for the Max Darkness. Yeah. And then I would have been sick. That would have been that would have been a really good play. Yeah. Should have would have could have. I said it. I, I literally said. Uh, I was literally talking about you going for Max Knuckle as I clicked the move, and then I'm like, wait, why did I just do that? <laughs> He's gonna go for Max Knuckle right now. Oh man. But yeah, man, it was a it was a good battle. It was very close. It could have been went either way. If it went for Red Card Mew. I was so confident until that Red Card Mew came out. He was like, wait, what's this? <laughs> I was like, why is he enduring? <laughs> oh.
so fun. I, I love fun little things like that. I gotta think of more unique sets with items wise. I keep running like Choice Scarf, Life Orb and shit like that. I mean, I should have like um, a Cobbleberry on freaking um, uh, uh, Sagoon could have been nice to withdraw the damage from close combat. Yeah, I don't even know if I would have lived that. I don't know if you would have lived. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, you, well, you can, can have Flame Orb then. Yeah, but imagine if I predicted Matt, you will have <laughs> Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> I but only did that because I knew you was, I had a feeling you was flame orbing. But I couldn't decide between guts or flame orb. Like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have I would have gone reckless with takedown. I still kill you. You still kill me with the gobbleberry? Yeah. Well it's still two times effective, right? Yeah. Mm. Or is it cobbleberry or is it something else? It might be a different berry because it's not it, I might not kill you. I thought it was cobbleberry. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I'm doing 138 max, so I cut that in half and you would have, you would have survived. There you go, I would have survived. Uh, fighting type. Imagine I burned you Barry. too. I, I should have just went for Morning Sun, it would have been the safer play, I guess. But... Oh, it's a Choppleberry. Choppel, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, dude, uh, have a... Fantastic rest of your night. Um, yeah. and a good rest of the you season. Too. We're about yeah, done with the too. season, huh? What? About done with the season. Not yet. We still got a couple, a couple more weeks. weeks. Yeah. Couple weeks. Uh, I really got to start uh, getting the team together for um, tiers for season two. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that, by the way. Like, uh, we can go through like the leak potential DLC months and just categorize everything and then like whatever does come through we just or doesn't come through we just knock off yep yeah i think that's a great uh great idea i'm gonna get a post going i'm, I'm probably gonna actually make an announcement tonight all right just go ahead and sign that's me okay. up yep sounds good all right man i'll see you later all right see you man bye all right guys that was a fantastic battle oh it was, it was such a good battle i freaking loved it i was so happy uh, Everything worked out about like we wanted it to. Um, I hadn't calced the thing with the Nantos yet, but uh, um, I was considering, do I stay in with Eternatus or do I switch out into Nantos? It's like, well, you know what? The battle's over. I'll just go ahead and stay in for now, and then we'll decide on what to do uh, in between the matches or whatever. Um, because technically that, does, that turn doesn't go through, so it would have been free to do whatever I wanted to. And after calcing it, I would have definitely um, just let Eternatus go down, then swap into Nantels and knock out the Gardevoir. And that would have been that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys to death. Please check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash W3S7. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.